Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and of course Venus. Welcome to your January 2020 love and romance reading. Uh, cross watchers, I'm going to be addressing you guys too. I know some of you are not very happy since I stopped doing cross watcher videos. It was nothing personal, guys. It was just a matter of time and getting burnt out with all the videos and the private readings. But as messages come up for cross watchers in the Virgo video, I will address you guys as well. So fear not. All right, Virgo, let's see what's happening for our Virgo darlings in love and romance. 2020, January. I feel like it needs one more good shuffle. All righty. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. So first up, we have the fool Alrighty, virgo so this is a major arcana card and some of you may have heard me say in other readings that when the major arcana cards come up at least for me in my readings it tells me that the situation at hand is directly connected to your life purpose your life path uh, something you came here to learn and when the major arcana cards come up for me in a reading between two people uh, it tells me that this is someone who has come into your life with a soul contract. That you all have made an agreement that you were going to meet in this life for a specific reason. And the fool is about doing things in a completely different way. Okay, so Virgo, a lot of you might be attracting or deciding to go for someone that you typically wouldn't go for. It could be someone that is not your usual type. It could be a scenario or situation like maybe you're making an exception because maybe you had told yourself, eh, you know, I'm not going to date right now or I'm going to focus on this or focus on that. Somebody might just come in that takes your attention and you feel for whatever reason really moved to to go for it okay a lot of the times when the fool card comes up whatever this decision is whatever it is we're feeling called to do it's something that might not make a whole lot of sense to our friends and family but it's definitely an energy of wanting to move forward wanting to do things better wanting to uh just experience life you know it, it could just be that you're really wanting to try something and this card came up for one or two of the other signs i can't remember who exactly it, one may have been pisces okay i can't recall but um for whatever reason i i i feel virgo for you guys this feeling of like you want to sample something you want to experience something like 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 you're wanting to taste something and just kind of see what happens however because it's a major arcana card and because it's the fool card it makes me feel like this is gonna maybe become more serious than you're expecting or anticipating for it to okay but there's definitely some really big changes and transitions that are going to happen in your life because of this connection, because of this relationship. So next we have here the Ace of Swords. Now those of you that you watch my readings, you may have heard me say in the past um, that when I see the Aces, they're, they're to me a card about energy becoming unstuck, energy becoming unblocked. And um, so Ace of Swords, it's going to be about energy having to do with the intellect, having to do with your thinking. So Virgo, if you have had, um, if, if for example, if you've been single or if you've been having a really hard time meeting the right person or a relationship has been very challenging for you and you, you haven't been sure how to heal the relationship or move past the situation, uh, Ace of Swords is saying that you're going to clean out the, the, the limited thinking, um, the thought process, the opinions, the views that have been holding you back in your love life or in a particular relationship. Ace of Swords absolutely can also indicate communication. Uh, for whatever reason, Virgo, I feel like you're the one doing the communicating, though. I feel like you're the one who's stepping up and... Uh, you're letting somebody know that you're interested, like you might be making the first move. And that in itself might be a mental breakthrough for you because you might have been in this whole thing before where you're like, oh, well, no, I don't make the first move. They have to make the first move, you know. Uh, but something here, I'm getting a sense of assertiveness. 
like being very direct, being very assertive, like just going for something like, well, why can't I have it? Or, or, or why wouldn't it work out for me? Like having this sense of confidence in this way. Uh, I do also feel there's like something here in cutting through some kind of misunderstanding. So maybe you're setting, I don't want to say you're setting somebody straight, but um, you're, you're clearing something up and you might be doing it in a very assertive way for some of you. These are general readings, so it's going to be different for different ones of you. Uh, but definitely, my darlings, I would recommend that you also watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, because sometimes they resonate more and sometimes it's going to be um, something that's going to add a little extra information for you or, or help make things a little bit easier to understand. Cross Watcher, I feel like for some of you, this Virgo... Uh, maybe you kind of had given up on them or you just thought you weren't going to hear from them. Don't be surprised if mid to end of January, they do kind of reach out out of nowhere and seem to be like, let's do this. Let's get together. Let's get to know each other. Uh, I do feel they're going to be super direct, though. For whatever reason, I feel this is going to be very straightforward, very direct, very clear. I don't think there's going to be any, like, guessing for you. I don't think you're going to have to guess uh, about what might be going on. I think it's just going to be uh, just super, super straightforward. Um, let's see the next card here. We have the moon. Okay. Okay. The moon is overcoming fears, insecurities. Uh, you know, the moon is also associated with cancer and Pisces. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer or Pisces. Uh, but, uh, you know, I will say this. Anytime, and you guys have heard me say this. Anytime I pull a card, like the moon card or a card, oracle card that has the moon in it or is like moon based. And it happens to be around the time of a new moon or full moon cycle. It tells me that you're going to be super, super impacted by that moon cycle. Now, I need to clarify something, Virgo. Um, I feel, well, first of all, I'm doing this reading. I'm a little bit late on the January readings. And I'm doing this reading the night of the full moon, the wolf moon. And this is actually a full moon in Cancer. And it's going to be a bit of an emo moon. It's going to be... Uh, very intense and maybe some of you Virgos are not typically moon sensitive if you find yourself in all kinds of just really intense emotions in January you know the moon card is telling us some of you are going to be very very affected by this full moon in Cancer January 9th January 10th uh, and a lot of your fears might be coming up if this is the case, don't be discouraged because Ace of Swords already told us you're going to be able to overcome those mental fears. You're going to be able to overcome those limited thinking. So I feel, Virgo, those of you that you've been single for a long time, it may be very intense for you in that there's like just this massive kind of uh, shifting or clearing or emotional purge that you're going to be going through. It may feel intense. It may feel scary. But understand and know what's happening so that you are ready to bring in the kind of love you're looking for. Uh, cross Watcher, I feel that for some of you, there could be uh, potential for misunderstanding. Uh, if, if Virgo is not made to feel like they can express their fears or their worries. You might be trying to make them feel better and you might be, oh no, that, no, don't think that or that's not true. Um, they might kind of get very short and be like, well, forget it, I'm not talking to you then. And you're like, what in the heck? Why did they react that way? I was trying to be positive. I think Virgo just needs to vent. I, I, I honestly feel like the more you can listen and the less you say, with Virgo is, is going to benefit you. It's going to go a long way, especially in January. I think Virgo is just kind of really getting in touch with their emotions and their feelings. And um, even if you might be coming from a positive way where you're trying to be encouraging or tell them there's nothing to worry about, they may kind of feel like you're trying to silence them or you're telling them, oh, no, your feelings are wrong. Even though you're trying to be positive and you know, make it better. I think it's just better to just kind of be sympathetic, like just hear them out, be sympathetic. 
uh, sometimes it, 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 it helps to just kind of repeat back what someone is saying because it helps them to feel, oh, okay, they heard me. Yeah, that's totally what I just said. And they just need to feel like they're being heard. So I really feel, Crosswatcher, if you're wanting to draw closer to your Virgo in January and you all are in communication, it's going to be good to just kind of let them talk and, and, and let them know you're here. Yeah, okay, like, yes, uh-huh. Like, oh, wow, yeah, that's terrible. Like, like, they just want to know that you're listening. But I think even if you come in with any kind of an opinion, they may be a little bit sensitive or they may feel like, you know, you're disagreeing with them or you're telling them, no, you shouldn't feel that way or no, that never happened. And, um, you know, just let them let them talk. Virgos in general, you know, I've, I've known of, I've known a few Virgos um, and I've never known. And this this isn't to say it can't be so, but I've never known any Virgos that were like emotionally um, like in like uh, like super emotional like I've never known any Virgos that like were like you know you know coming and crying on my shoulder or telling me about their life problems I have never experienced a Virgo in that way that doesn't mean Virgos can't be that way especially if they feel very close to somebody but your Virgo may seem more vulnerable than usual your Virgo may seem like they want to express their emotions more so than usual uh, and just be there for them. Be there for them without putting your view or your opinion into it. You'll have a chance later on, you know, to to, direct, to address those things. But it just feels kind of like super sensitive energy for right now. So just, you know, just let them, let them say what they need to say. Next here we have the Judgment card. And this is a major arcana card. So lots of shifts, lots of changes. Virgo, you're going through a spiritual awakening. And Virgo, you're going to see things about yourself that you're wanting to change for the better or you're going to realize more what it is you need in a relationship and cross watcher i think you need to prepare for virgo um in in, in a part of this venting uh, at some point it might not be in the same conversation but at some point in january you know virgo you may be telling your person or cross watcher virgo may be telling you that uh you know there's just some ways in which they feel hurt or not supported or feel like you all aren't moving in the same direction there could just be something about values and again anything that you do to kind of you know convince them no no that's not the case that's not the case they may take offense to this so <sighs> this is what it's coming down to virgo you are really changing you're changing a lot within yourself and who you are and those of you who are single you are going for a completely different kind of relationship somebody very different from your typical type those of you that you've been in a relationship and you're with someone you're completely changing you're going through this awakening and i feel like you're kind of just letting this person know that if you're going to be with me this is the new me this is who i am now okay so you're getting to know somebody all over again it's a new relationship whether you've been with someone i don't care if you've been f married 50 years like something might be happening that where you're going through these massive changes and shifts and your partner is going to have to get to know you all over again and you're going to have to be patient with that you're going to have to give them time to get used to this new you virgo uh, those of you who are single, you're going to be in a completely new relationship with a completely new kind of person, but it's feeling more aligned to you. It's feeling more like, yes, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be. Or, or like I said, you might be thinking that you're just having fun or you're just kind of broadening out. Um, but it's going to, that relationship is going to become more serious than you realize because you're aligning with this new, more authentic you. The next card we have here, Virgo is the five of cups right so there could be some disappointment here um especially for those of you that you're in an existing relationship your partner your person may not be all that jazzed about the situations that you're going through um or the way that you're changing they might be kind of like having a hard time understanding it or keeping up and 
you know, like I told the cross watchers, as Virgo's opening up, you know, just hear them out and don't try to excuse the way the feelings or dismiss them or, you know, you know, um, you know, be positive, quote unquote. And so for some of you Virgos, your person, you know, may not be cross watching this video and they may not be getting that bit of advice. So as you're coming more into your authenticity and as you're expressing to your partner that you're changing, you might not be happy with their response. They may not step up in the way that you want them to. I do feel that your partner is trying to be positive or be helpful, but you may be disappointed or like, you know, they're not picking up what you're laying down. But Five of Cups says not all is lost. There's still hope of picking up and moving past it. Those of you where you're single and you're, you're going into this new relationship, that Fool card, this is taking you back to the Fool card. And I do feel like you thought people would be happy for you or proud of you or excited for you that you are you know, going in this new direction or that you're changing or that you're allowing yourself to broaden out or you may have thought people were going to be more accepting of this new relationship and you may be disappointed to realize that people are more just kind of like, what in the heck is Virgo doing? Um, and I'm not a negative Nancy. You guys who watch my videos, you know I try to be super positive. But if I feel something coming in for you as a heads up, I'm going to share it. I'm going to say it. And for whatever reason with the Five of Cups, Virgo, I feel that for some of you, people are seeing you go through changes and seeing you change and seeing you just kind of put yourself out there and be more authentically you. And they might be criticizing your choices or decisions. You may even have people tell you, oh, well, you've changed so much. And if you don't watch it, then your partner is going to leave you. And you may be hurt. Like, what in the heck? Like, I, I thought that you would be supportive of me and say that, you know, well, if they can't handle the real you or if they don't want you to be happy, don't have them in, in your life. But you might feel like the people are saying things to you like, oh, no, like, you know, you you better you better bend over backwards to make that person happy. You might go, what about me? Don't you care about how I feel? Or those of you going into a completely new relationship, instead of people like, oh yeah, Virgo, that's awesome. You know, you're getting your groove back. You're getting your fire back. Good for you for getting out there and trying something new. You might have people who are being very critical. Like, what are you doing with this person? Or what do you think you're doing? Or, you know, and, and you might feel hurt by that. I just feel for whatever reason, the Five of Cups to me feels like a lack of support. And people saying things that are making you feel like, wow, like you don't want me to be happy or you don't think that I could do better. Or like what in the heck? Um, so take it, take it with a grain of salt. It is a general reading. It may not apply to you. You may not have that experience because not every single Virgo is going through the same exact thing. This is why I highly recommend watching your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign videos. It might bring a little bit more clarity. Some parts may resonate more than others. Um, and guys, <coughs> you may need a private reading, excuse me. And if that's the case, you know that I'm more than happy to read for you. If you want to click on the Cannoli link and schedule a private reading there, I'm more than happy to prepare a private reading for you. Um, I strongly do recommend though for Virgos, watch your moon and rising because I just feel like there's a lot of layers to the situation. And you guys know I try to dig deep and go over the different scenarios, but there's there's a lot of layers here and you guys all have different planetary placements. You were born different dates, different times, different, you know, uh, different planetary energetic makeup. So I think for Virgo, this month is especially important for you guys to watch your moon and rising and Venus videos. Um, I think there's a lot going on in terms of transformation and I really feel like it's affecting your love life because uh, I feel like you're really shifting on a core level. Um, and I, f I think this full moon is affecting you guys really strongly. So watch your other planetary placements. I think it's going to be helpful for you in January. Uh, I would even also watch the weekly forecast just in general because those are very helpful outside of love, like with the personal stuff, because I think a lot of your personal stuff is coming into your love life. So um, the weekly forecast could be very helpful for you as well. I thank you all so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I'm wishing you an amazing January, my dears.